All right, many of you may not know that September is a very important month for very, many different causes, but today we're telling you about something that is serving Hardin County, going to bring so much relief and a lot of help to people in our area. We're at Living Success, and it's a counseling family services joined by Shanna and Regina right now. Shanna, tell me a little bit about what this means. Living Success is a nonprofit counseling center, and we offer services to individuals in Hardin County. Um, the main thing that we want people to know is, number one, that we're here, mm -hmm. that we're available, because there are very few places for people that do not have insurance to receive mental health care benefits. And this is something that really, uh, of course, in the tag I was saying family. So there's many different ways to be able to help family, different ages. So do you, do you help out as, as far as seeing uh, kiddos for counseling as well? Yes, we see adolescents, children, adults. We do individual counseling. We do group therapy and we do play therapy. There's lots of different uh, services that we offer here. Tell me a little bit about the play therapy. The room uh, that we're seeing in the video is just really uh, something that looks like it can just bring in that right ambience to help out. Children don't usually open up that much, to, especially not to totally strangers, but if you can engage a child in play, then you can get to the root of things. Children will actually take whatever it is that's bothering them and they will act it out when they play. So in using play therapy, it's very non-threatening. It's not, you know, sit here and talk to the counselor. It's very frightening for children. So, but if you can get them down on the floor and get with them and play, then a lot of times you can find out what's really troubling them that they're not sharing with anyone else. And uh, Regina, we were talking just a little bit about the different parts of it and really just uh, letting Hardin County know that you're here and that there is somewhere where they can go. Exactly. I think that's one of the things about Hardin County is it's severely underserved when it comes to mental health. And so that's something that we um, had a passion for and we really wanted to bring to this area, uh, a rural area where um, they can come get counseling services at an affordable rate. Mm -hmm. um, so we offer that sliding scale and we offer um, insurance and, and any, any way that we can to help the, help the county uh, community mm -hmm. to come in and get some services and get the help that they need. And reaching out that way, and this is a nonprofit organization, and uh, funds are needed to be able to help out with that as well. So there's different things that, of course, uh, the area may be able to do uh, helping out, whether it's a donor and uh, maybe someone in your family has needed a, a place like this to come for comfort. That's what this is here for. Right. And September is Substance Abuse Awareness Month, and every single person knows someone mm -hmm. whose life has been touched by substance abuse. And we just don't realize how far that goes. And with September being Substance Abuse Awareness Month, it's a great time for anyone that's interested, has someone that they would like to donate in honor of, for them to give us a call because we can make sure that happens. Shana, if someone is really thinking and they're watching this and thinking, I, I need that, I, I want to go talk to somebody, what should they do? All they have to do is give us a call and we visit with them for a little while on the phone, kind of figure out what their needs are and which counselor they would maybe possibly fit well with. The thing with the counseling is you have to feel comfortable with your counselor. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you're not going to get anything out of it because you're not truly going to open up. So we kind of get a feel for the person on the phone to see what their needs are. And then we pat match them with a counselor and we make an appointment. And what about a chance to have maybe a little bit of fun to help out raising uh, funds? Tell us about that coming in November, right? In November, yes. In November, we are going to have a murder mystery dinner party. And we're going to run five games at the same time. And so each game has 12 participants. And you actually dress in character. And there is a murder that occurs. And everyone comes. And throughout the evening, you get clues. And you discover evidence and things like that. And at the end of the evening, then there will be five different solutions to the murder. Okay, so will you be selling tickets to that and maybe we can get them from this office, I guess? Absolutely. Okay. Our open house is scheduled for sometime in October okay. and so they can go to our website to buy tickets or they can stop by the office or just give us a call. Okay, so for the open house, I mean, that could be a chance for people to actually come and see this play, the services as well. Exactly. We don't have an exact date on the books, but it's something that we have planned for the month of October. And our friends at Hardin County, um, the probation department, will um, be uh, helping us with that event oh, wow. also. Okay. And we'll have uh, lots of community members here and uh, business members throughout the community coming to see our facility. Um, and just, you know, open up the doors to let people know that we're here and what, we, what services we offer. And, you know, just that it's an exciting thing for Hardin County because there's nothing like this here. Absolutely. We'll have to come back out for that as well to be able to uh, exactly. experience the hope open house. And again, if anybody's just interested, just calling the phone number and really it's just about you and what makes you feel comfortable. Exactly. We want to get to know people, mm -hmm. make people feel comfortable, 
and then help them with anything that may be troubling them. Absolutely. We work with people that suffer from depression, anxiety, couples that are thinking about divorce. We work with a lot of children whose parents are getting a divorce. Really anybody that just needs someone to talk to. You know, it's real easy for us to talk to friends and family, mm -hmm. but they're going to tell us what we want to hear, and sometimes that doesn't really solve it. And so if you talk to a counselor that's not emotionally vested in the situation, sometimes you get that clarity, those aha moments, and usually you feel pretty leave feeling a lot better. Great. Thank you, ladies. We appreciate that. And Lumberton, Jessica Gidgery.